Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys how we can implement log rotation within the open distro version of Elasticsearch. So I posted a previous video a few months ago detailing how we could create a index policy within Elasticsearch using their basic license. Uh, however, for users that want to use the open distro version of Elasticsearch, um, we can also do the same. And, and this is a really nice feature to implement because what this will do is remove old indexes that we necessarily uh, don't care about anymore. So as indexes reach a certain age and we need to clear space for new indexes within our cluster, uh, this will automatically remove old indexes for us and clear up space for new ones. So you're not having to manually come in every so often and delete old indexes. So we really love automation and scalability in this feature gives us the ability to do both. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if we jump in here into index management, we will first need to create a new policy. And so I'll go ahead and select create policy. Um, we can give it a name of whatever you want. I'll just say, please subscribe. So here they have a, a default template that you can follow. Uh, however, I'm not seeing a deletion phase here. So uh, Elasticsearch kind of under the hood, it, you can detail and specify hot and cold. So uh, Elasticsearch is very memory intensive, so hot indexes it'll keep within memory so it can easily access them quickly. So when you're running searches on indexes that are, are current day or just a few days back and you want to be able to obtain those searches quickly, you can move them into a hot phase. Um, and then cold phase, I don't need to access the data as frequently, so it can take a little longer. So I'm, I'm fine with accepting longer query times to access this data, but I don't want to delete this data permanently. And then we can add on a delete phase, which they don't seem to have here. However, I've added uh, within the repo a good template that we can use. Uh, where did it go? Here we go. Um, that will define our hot, cold, and then eventually our delete phase. Uh, so we'll kind of walk through this real quick. So our hot phase, uh, you can also specify the number of replicas. So this number of replicas gives us some high availability. So say I have three clusters within the node, uh, uh, three nodes, sorry, within our cluster, and I say number of replicas of one, this will then tell Elasticsearch, I want you to store a replicated index on one other cluster, uh, sorry, one other node within the cluster. So you can have some high availability here. You can of course increase this number if you want to. So I could say number of replicas uh, three, and that would, if I had a cluster of three Elasticsearch nodes within our environment, each node within the cluster would get a replica. Of course, that does take more disk space, so uh, keep that in mind, and you'll need to fine tune that within your environment. Um, but then we can, but then we get into our transition phases. So here we're specifying after 30 days, I want you to transition to the cold phase. So meaning that this data doesn't necessarily need to be hot anymore and be uh, in and take up space within memory. This is a cold phase, so we're not deleting it yet. You can offload these indexes from memory to make room for new indexes that are more current uh, to the day, right? And then we transition to a delete phase where here we're saying in this example, this is 365 days. So whatever your log retention policies are, you can adjust this as needed. I'll adjust this for the demo and just make it like a day. Um, so hopefully we can see some action take place. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and copy this raw value here and I will remove theirs and paste it in. Um, so here for, again, for cold phases, I'll change after one day, go into a cold phase and then I'll delete it after, we'll just say two days. Um, and then we have our deletes here. So that looks good. So I'll go ahead and create. And so now that we have our policy created, we now need to assign it, assign this policy to our Wazoo indexes. And so now that we have the policy created, uh, again, this will, in a second, we'll assign these to our previous indexes. 
but we want our new and future indexes to take this policy and for that we'll make a change within filebeat so i'll go ahead and open up a session to uh to the server that is our wazoo manager again our wazoo manager is sending its logs to Elasticsearch via FileBeat. So if I do a FileBeat test output, we see that this is running here. Uh, but we'll need to assign, but what we also wanna do is make sure we assign these po this policy to future indexes. So if we scroll down here, um, we just have a quick commands that we, we can use. So here what we're using, we're just using a sed command to parse out uh, some of these settings here within our wazoo template.json file to set to our new policy ID. Where here I'll change this to please subscribe because again that is the policy uh, ID that I created here. And oh no I did spell it right, <laughs> I thought I spelled that wrong for a sec. So I'll go ahead and copy this guy, again I'm on the manager here. Um, and if we open up, we'll just take a look at it. So if we open up our, our template here, we'll see all of these settings that file be sets when it's that is set within Elasticsearch, right? So file, we can we can make these changes on the fly and we'll need to change these for future indexes because again, uh, by default, Wazoo um, creates a new index for every day, right? So we'll need to make sure that future and new indexes also get this policy so we don't have to manually go back and state and assign the new indexes to the policy. So again, if we just copy that command, I'll paste that here and I will change our policy to please subscribe. Let me make sure I spelled that right. And it looks like I did. I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop uh, Elast or stop Filebeat real quick, even though I don't think that matters. But I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I'll paste that in there. I will then say again, please subscribe. And I'll enter that. And now, if we open up our template, we should see our policy set here. Um, so good, so that looks good. And now, if we exit out of that, I'll go ahead and run a FileBeat setup index management. And what this will do is FileBeat will now read our wazoo-template.json and tell Elasticsearch, hey Elasticsearch, this is the new template I want to, uh, these are the new settings I want to apply to uh, to our indexes. So we'll go ahead and run that run that, uh, you should get something like this, index setup finish, so that looks good. I'll go ahead and now start back up FileBeat. So, and I'll run a test output, just make sure everything looks good and that looks good. All right, cool. And now let's apply this policy to previous indexes. So if I go into my indices here, you'll see, and if I search on wazoo-alerts, you'll see I have a few previous days indexes here already. However, these are not assigned to policies, right? So what we'll need to do is go ahead and assign these to policies and we can do these through the web UI. Uh, you can also make an API call if you want, which is detailed in, which is detailed in the documentation, uh, but we can use the web UI just to make it a little, uh, little more user friendly for us. So I'll go ahead and select my three indices here and we'll select apply policy and here we'll now search for the policy that we just created uh, and you can create multiple policies you know if you have different indice indexes being written maybe you're getting like file beat Seracata logs or wh whatever your indexes are uh, you can create different policies based on those indexes so here we'll select the please subscribe uh, looks like it gives us a little bit of a preview um, we can make sure that it took our settings, so again, yeah, one day for cold and then two days to be deleted. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. And now if we go into our manage indices, we should see now that these indexes have the policy assigned to it. So if I select this guy, um, here we see they are assigned to the policy, which is good. And now 
Elasticsearch is running these indexes through this policy. And if we select the policy, we should be able to see like a status of it. Uh, yeah, so here it says still initializing, please wait a moment. So uh, we can go ahead and wait and make sure that these policies are being applied uh, how we expect them to be applied. And all right, once you let Elasticsearch do its thing, uh, and if we go back into managed indices, once Elasticsearch has had some time to do its thing, um, we can now see that our current day, so today is the 29th, is in the hot phase. However, our previous days of the 28th and 27th are now in the cold phase, which is what we expected. And because this is the 27th is still two days old, this will delete tomorrow <laughs> on the 30th. So it'll include up to the day of, if, if that makes sense. So tomorrow this index will be deleted automatically for me and Elasticsearch will now ingest the new index, will, which will be tomorrow. So the 30th will come in. So when tomorrow starts, the 30th, our index will also, will be applied this policy. So it'll be in the hot phase and then after the two days is up, so I guess technically it would be deleted on the third day, that index will be deleted. And it's as easy as that. Um, it is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do, uh, which is nice. And now we're not risking our Elasticsearch cluster running out of disk space and therefore us missing security events because we didn't have the disk space to store them. So I highly recommend um, implementing this type of feature, especially if you're looking to scale and you can set it to match whatever log retention policies you have within your organization. So it's a really nice feature to add and to take advantage of. So I think that wraps it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.